In the last few days, Texas has seen a major snowpocalypse that has affected nearly the entire state. And what is the one thing that has affected most of these people? Their houses. I got a phone call a few days ago from a good friend of mine that we did a full foam encapsulation on his attic. He's completely happy, it's 20 degrees outside and it's nice and warm and toasty up in his attic. Now his neighbor wanted to do the same thing about four or five months ago, gave him a price and he decided to procrastinate a little bit and do the install at a different time. Well, the snow hit, the freezing weather hit and he's got a cold attic and unfortunately he didn't encapsulate his attic and now he has frozen pipes all up in his attic. Let me show you my house where we did a full encapsulation and it's nice and warm and toasty inside. Wow, it is cold outside. At least it's nice and warm in here. Now let me take you to a part of my house that's even warmer. Come on up. So most traditionally insulated houses have loose fill fiberglass on the attic floor. This house doesn't. It's because we did a retrofit, a foam encapsulation retrofit. We come in and we take the loose fill insulation, we suck it out of the attic, we put it into removal bags and we haul it off. Why do we do that? Because we don't want to trap moisture in your attic. So like most traditionally insulated attics, they have loose fill fiberglass on the attic floor. It may be the pink stuff or the gray stuff that you're used to seeing up in your attic that's really itchy. Well, this house doesn't have any. We did a foam encapsulation. And part of the process of doing a foam encapsulation is removing all that insulation on your attic floor. Let me tell you why. If the insulation is left on the attic floor, it'll create a barrier where moisture can build up in the attic. And we don't want that to happen. So by removing that, it allows the warm or the cold air inside the house to convect with the attic temperatures and pull that moisture and humidity out of the attic. Once that's complete, we come in with a full foam at the roof deck. We come all the way down the rafters and we do a nice complete seal right at the top plate. So no cold air can come in your attic. What is the result? An 85 to 90 degree attic on a 20 degree day. That's pretty remarkable. Another incredible benefit for spray foam insulation on your attic roof deck is for your duct work. Now your duct work in Texas and most of your southern climates are all run in the attic, the most harshest conditions of your entire home. In the summer it's hot, in the winter it's cold. So with an encapsulated roof deck, you can now climatize your duct work. Let me give you an example. When we have cold air in the attic and the AC shuts off and your furnace shuts off, all that air inside of this duct work will cool off to the temperature that's inside the attic. Could be 20 degrees. And when the furnace does kick on, it dumps all that cold air into your house. And right here, this was just a basic seam on our attic ductwork. I went ahead and had the guys foam it so that no air leakage would come out and have a nice flow to the destination it's going. So what I have here is a FLIR thermal imaging camera. And what this does is this allows us to look at what the substrate temperatures are or what's behind the insulation or what's behind the wall. And you can see in my attic, it's less than 20 degrees outside. And we're, we're measuring 71 to 78 degrees, anywhere between there, completely taking the cold out of the equation. And let me show you something downstairs that's even more interesting that we can see with the FLIR camera. So another thing I wanted to mention was I have fire sprinkler lines that are run in my attic. I also have copper tubes that feed my water heater. So you can imagine on a day that's less than 20 degrees, what kind of issues we might have in our house. So this is the interesting part of my house that I was telling you about. It's actually my dining room. And about six foot in on this ceiling is still living space above it. And there's an exterior wall that runs up about six foot back. So if you look on this thermal imaging camera, you can see it's about 75, 74 degrees. But as you come down here and see where those fiberglass bats that we didn't address, they're running about 59 degrees. So the fiberglass insulation is no barrier. It's allowing cold air to move through and register really low temperatures. 
So remember, if you need insulation, give us a call.